Hello everybody and welcome again to Country Boy Cooking with Marshall. I'm your host Marshall. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day in Georgia. A little nippy, but that's the way I like it. We're going to be making goulash today. I'm going to make it just the way Mama did on our YouTube uh, channel, Mama Joyce's Country Cooking, but I'm halfing it in two and putting optional mushrooms in. So y'all, let's get over here to the stove and let me show you how this works. Okay everybody, the first thing I'm going to do is brown my pound and a half of meat. This right here is uh, 90 10, so it's not going to have too much grease in it. If you use 80 20, you'll want to drain the grease right after this gets done. Now that I've got my ground beef almost done, I'm adding in one large onion. Get them boys down in there. Y'all, they ain't nothing like the smell of ground beef and onions cooking in the house. I'm going to start these around maybe probably a minute or two. Just to get, get them together. But yeah, this right here is already got the house smelling right. You can't go wrong with ground bacon and onions as your starter on anything. You know whatever it's, the recipe you have is going to be good. Hope everybody's having a nice Friday today. I hear mama's little bird in there just a chirping over. Alright, now that I've got that good and incorporated together, I'm going to add a couple more ingredients. I'm going to add one red bell pepper. Now you can add green bell pepper, it don't matter, but this right here is a red one. I like for color. Chop, chop that real good. Also got three cloves of garlic that I chopped up. That's going in. Stir that around a second. The little bird's name is Pretty Boy. If anybody hears him back there, he's having a fit in there. He must smell this. All right. Now y'all putting in one container, which is 32 ounces, of this beef broth, Swanson's beef broth, for the whole thing. It's four cups. Pour the whole thing in there. Now this is really easy. It's almost like a dump. Uh, the dump cakes, the dump dinners and stuff like that. You just more or less put it all in there. Nothing to it. Get all your beef broth in there. That's good. Now yeah, this right here, I'm going to put about maybe about four tablespoons of just soy sauce. I like using the light soy sauce. Try to stay away from as, from as much salt as I can, especially when salt's in some of the other things like this. We're also going to put in one can, which is 14.5 ounces of diced tomatoes. Now these are diced green peppers, celery and onion tomatoes. You can make it your own. You can't go wrong with this, y'all. This goulash is exactly what it says. That's goulash. <laughs> All right. Now... I'm going to put in one can, which is 14 and a half ounces of uh, tomato sauce. That's going in. This really goes quick, everybody. Just go ahead and prep all your stuff, you know, like chop your onions and your bell peppers and get your garlic cloves ready. All right. Okay, last but not least, I'm going to put in two cups of purified water. Now remember, we don't like the tap water. Never have, never will. The only thing I use tap water for is to wash me, my dog, and my uh, dishes. <laughs> you add your water. You got two more things right here you're going to put in right quick. Y'all got one teaspoon of Italian seasoning and about, you know, two, three to four of the bay leaves. That's going in. Mix it up well. Y'all to me, the Italian seasoning and the bell peppers that taste that puts into this is really what makes the taste of the goulash to me. All right, now the next thing I'm gonna add y'all is 100% optional. I'm putting these in for me. These were probably not in the 100 year old recipes that you'll find of this goulash, but I'm putting in eight ounces of chopped mushrooms just because I love them so much. That's going in. Give it a little quick stir. I'm gonna bring this up to a good medium right here. I'm going to put it on about six. I'm going to let this right here go for about 30 minutes to get all of those flavors together.
Y'all, if you've never tried this goulash, you need to try it. We've got this recipe on Mama Joyce's Country Cooking on our YouTube channel. Mama Joyce's Country Cooking on our YouTube. Uh, I'm hyphen this recipe from the one she's got on there because this recipe right here would just about fill the pot up the way we made it on her uh, channel. That's on YouTube. So I half this recipe. You can easily double this recipe if you need to. So however you want to do it, however many people you got to feed, this will do it. And they will love it. Oh Lord, I loved it all my life. Y'all try it. Okay, everybody, this is the kind of simmer you're looking for. You're not looking for no big rolling bowl. Just a little simmer for about 20, 25 minutes. See that? This stuff is so good, y'all. you got to try it. Okay, everybody, I've got it where I want it now. It's been simmering for about 20, 25 minutes. Now I'm going to add elbows, Barilla Elbows Macaroni. Y'all, I'm going to add about half of this box, about half to three quarters. You don't want to add the whole box because this stuff really expands and they're real good. Okay, that's about three quarters of the box. The box is uh, 16 ounces. See that? You see that? Some good stuff, y'all. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stir this in real good. I'm not going to change my heat. It's on medium. It's on number five. I'm going to let this go for about 20 more minutes until that macaroni is done and everything will be done. You want to keep it stirred a little bit while it's cooking. Keep everything off the bottom. It's been going about 10 minutes now. It likes about 10 more minutes. And this stuff will be done, but just keep it stirred. Okay, everybody. Our goulash is done. Check this out. This is the way it's supposed to look. Lord have mercy. You're talking about good. Look at that. That is some good stuff, y'all. Y'all have got to try this. Now we're going to get over here and let Daddy taste test it. Mama's in there resting, but Daddy is ready to do the taste test today. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, this right here is going to be tasting the soup that Sonny Boy made, and it's called the goulash. And I, by looking at it, it looks real good. And I told him, it, I said, if it didn't taste right, I was going to let him know about it. So I'm going to put, I like a little cornbread with mine right there. I'm going to put a little cornbread with it. And, and here we go. Folks, you gotta try this. This right here is delicious. It, it's uh, amazing. It tastes just like my mother used to used to make. And I'm telling you, them, them mothers know how to cook. And for me, in our household, We've always tried to serve the Lord, and that's what it's all about. No matter what you're doing or where you're going, the Lord is directing their path. Sometimes we think that we're doing it ourselves, but we really ain't. It's either the Lord or the answer, this guy guiding us. And, but me and my, our household is going to serve the Lord. And this goulash here, I tell you, it would be good for just one meal with nothing with it because it's got a lot of ingredients already in it that uh, re really that, that just makes a good meal. And we thank y'all for sending all the cards and everything. God bless every one of you. Bye-bye.